Did you get ready in the dark or something? Because you look like a beautiful nightmare. Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. My name is Tessa. Uh, we are going to do your October 2021 Oracle and Tarot reading. Um, so from the Astro Soul Oracle, I pulled the conjunction um, aspect. I pulled the last quarter moon and I pulled the sextile aspect. Um, and then from the Tarot of Mystical Moments, I pulled the Two of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, the Page of Pentacles. From Influence of the Angels, I pulled the Page of Cups, the Ten of Swords, and the Four of Pentacles. And then from the Vintage Wisdom Oracle, I pulled the Dreams card, Harmony, and Compassion. Um, so overall, Virgo, um, what I am getting from this reading is that there was some situation at your job, okay? This could have been a situation with your the current position that you are in at work, or it could have something to do with a project that you are working on um, creatively, or something that has to do with your finances like finances, like a financial project or business related, or it could have something to do with, you know, a project that is also related to your current job and your current career that you have been focusing a lot on. And perhaps this project was like a stepping stone for it to get you maybe to another level, or perhaps to like get somebody's attention, maybe your boss, maybe somebody in that environment, okay? But it looks like there is something, um, there is some transition happening here and you're really needing to let go and forgive um, someone or something that has happened in your past. And I feel like this has something to do with your work environment. I feel like this has to do with a coworker that maybe you had a falling out with or you had some kind of issue with. Um, you pulled two cards that were the Ten of Swords, okay? So there are two cards here um, of the Ten of Swords, okay? So what I'm feeling is that you and this other person are both feeling very, very hurt by this falling out between the two of you, okay? Um, it could definitely have something to do with it, perhaps the manner and the style in which you guys work because there is a need to take a step back and to like kind of and to learn how to cooperate okay there is a need to kind of like integrate um in order for um you guys to move forward okay and this problem could have occurred because um you're because you were your energy was so focused on something in particular it was so concentrated that perhaps like something happened that maybe triggered this other person's sensitivity there's a good chance that this other person is more sensitive than you and maybe they took something to heart that you said um, they took some criticism to heart. You know, you might have had a lot going on. You might have been really stressed out and had a lot of anxiety. There is a, like a really good possibility that the people at your work, your bosses, they expect a lot from you and they always kind of hold you on this pedestal. Um, because you are more inclined towards like perfectionism and things like that. But there's there's almost this need to let to like acknowledge something in regards to how much attention you are giving a particular project and perhaps like not being as considerate um, to the people around you, you know, like maybe being too focused and too drawn into your work um, that maybe you don't think about um, what is going on around you or you don't think about the people around you. And this is very natural for this to happen to us. You know, when we're really immersed in a project, you know, you could definitely have like a dream. Um, you have a dream for yourself and you're working very hard towards that dream. But a lot of the times, um, and you know, perhaps you are wanting to reach this goal, this vision, this idea of, perf of perfection, you know, but it's almost like, it's almost like there is this something deeper inside of you that is feeling very hurt at the same time by like this misunderstanding, by some kind of misunderstanding. And 
like it's like you want to communicate, you want to talk about it, but at the same time, there is this feeling of like, no, 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 no. You know, like I'm not saying anything. I'm just going to stick with my project. I'm just going to stick with my job um, and with what I'm doing over here. Um, but like there is a need to kind of like open the heart a little bit more in the situation. And I know that like, you know, we tend and to like have a little bit more compassion for the actual situation because you guys are working together and because you're in the same environment and because it's actually going to benefit you and your project and you as an individual, like your soul, um, if you are able to learn, like to take a step back and acknowledge that maybe you don't have it all figured out, at least when it comes to like other aspects of the environment at work and when it comes to maybe other people at your work. And there's a need to kind of like take a step back and learn how this person operates to observe and to kind of like almost be strategic about it, like in the Virgo sense, but not like overly... Um, but not like critical, like not, you know, to be, to be observant and, um, you know, pay attention, but try not to be so judgmental. Um, it's something like that. Okay. Especially with this page of pentacles here. Okay. Because the pages are always willing to learn. Okay. They need to be open to understanding and learning, especially you know, when we're dealing with other people in the work environment, because this is the environment where we are creating our dreams, where we are creating our visions, where we are making our money, right? So this is a very important, it's very important for this environment to feel good to us, right? To feel right for there to be harmony in this environment. Okay. Like harmony is so important. So it's like, are you harmonizing with other people? And maybe like you guys were close at one point. I'm kind of feeling like, okay, it wasn't like a best buddy type of situation, you know, but like there could have been some kind of trigger here um, that definitely kind of set you guys, uh, triggered something within you that is making you, that is, um, making you take a closer look at yourself and like what it is you need to let go of inside yourself. Okay. With the last quarter moon, we're talking about transitions, adaptation, forgiveness, letting go. Okay. So there's something perhaps within you and it could have a lot to do with like this need, this like need to criticize or be judgmental or like perfectionistic, but there is something that perhaps is actually going to allow even you to breathe better and to feel better when you can maybe like let go of some things and just accept. Okay. Um, so there's definitely a need to kind of let go. Okay. Because there is some very intense, you know, there, the, the energy between the two of you could be very intense. It could be very uncomfortable right now. Um, and there's definitely this need to let go. Okay. There's going to be a last quarter moon, October 28th. Um, and it's going to be in Leo and it's going to be in your 12th house. So there's a very, very good possibility that you are going to figure out how to let go of this, that, that you are going to figure out how to like rebirth yourself, so to speak, because this, um, last quarter moon in Leo is in your 12th house. And the 12th house does have to do with dreams and visions, but it has to do with spirituality. It has to do with like, your own ability to kind of like decode your own like truth and your own mystic system and the, the system that you hold dear to your heart and to your spirituality so that you can move forward. Okay. So that you can rise above, so to speak, and, um, become like a higher version of yourself, become a more advanced like version of yourself. Right. And really, you know, kind of step into this mode where, you know, you just kind of acknowledge that other people have a different way of operating in the world. 
and they have different visions and they have different goals and perhaps they're not the same as yours perhaps they're not dreaming as big as you or perhaps their their visions are a little bit more like you know down to earth or just kind of like more chill or maybe they're just like along for the ride but it's also like okay well maybe you don't know the whole story maybe you don't know the whole situation so um so the tarot it's so like what's kind of being asked of you right now is to just like take a step back um, you know, to maybe just kind of like observe, um, but also like be careful not to be too timid. Okay. With the four of pentacles over here, not to be too stubborn about it. Like not, you know, like, like, yeah, like she's, she's observing, she's staying quiet, but she's also being judgmental in her head. You know, she's kind of like looking, but you can like see in her eyes that she's kind of like, looking with caution and spying like kind of trying to see what that other person is up to but what it really wants you to do is have a little is have more compassion with the page of cups over here and the compassion card it's asking it's asking you if to do that with compassion with like an open heart and to acknowledge that perhaps this individual is maybe going through something or maybe like they um you know, like you don't know the whole story, okay? Or they just have a different way of operating. Um, yeah, um, with, with the Page of Pentacles, okay? So, you know, and it definitely, like I can definitely see how maybe um, it may be causing some stress, especially if they're not maybe like pulling their weight. And maybe you feel like you're doing a lot, you know? Like, it's like I said before, perhaps at work, people like to depend on you, they count on you, and maybe you're being overworked, you know, um, but, you know, that could also be something else that you might need to kind of acknowledge within yourself in terms of, like, learning how to communicate uh, with your boss or communicate what it is that you can, like, to be honest about what it is you can handle and what you can't, or maybe if you don't like the world, the word handle, like what it is that you feel is healthy for you. And it's like, if you are stepping into an area where you feel like you no longer are able to take care of yourself and your own health, whether it's physical health, mental health, um, emotional or spiritual, you know what I mean? All of those are important. So Definitely, definitely. And this is not just compassion for like other people around you, but also for yourself. Okay. Having compassion for yourself, um, regaining a sense of balance and harmony within your own life, you know, and that will actually allow you to re, um, to like regain perspective on your dreams, on your visions, on those goals that you have for your future, um, and approach it from a more balanced, harmonized, and just kind of like more clear headed place. Because when you are so deep into a certain project with this conjunction and the two of pentacles, and when you have a lot of stress and anxiety, because you have a lot of different things going on, and you have a lot on your mind, it's so easy to get lost in that. It's so easy to get kind of stuck in it. And then, you know, you don't really like you can't even grasp a clear um perspective on your original vision because you're like so deep in it that everything is like about the details and it's great to be able to focus in on the details it's great to be able to like look really close and see like what you missed and what you did but it's also really necessary to just kind of like take a step back look at what you've done so far and just kind of like take it easy a little bit, you know, like pay attention to something else. Um, and it'll allow you to reemerge and like maybe even feel better about what it is that you're doing. Because like you, you know, if it's getting to a point where you don't feel good and it's creating problems in your life, then maybe there is something somewhere that you need to address anyway. And by addressing that, it will allow that vision, that dream, that uh, initial goal to re to like 
reintroduced itself into your life as like a breath of fresh air rather than something that's stressful and something that you need to like obsess over. Um, so that's my reading for you, Virgo. Um, this is for October 2021. If you've been following my channel, um, thank you so much for being patient. I know I didn't film a mid-September. I plan on filming a mid-October, um, but ever since I've been back, I've just been busy. <laughs> um, you know, I gotta work. Um, I gotta make money. So I'm out and about hustling and um, doing my thing, okay? But, you know, um, I'm gonna be around. So hopefully you enjoyed this reading. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I will have more uh, tarot videos up and I'll see you guys next